Look at him grinning away there as though he hasn't a care in the world. I thought I told you to wake him up. I did. He just rolls over and goes off again. John, wake up. Mm. Oh, hi, Mum. Here, drink this. And then move. Mm. All we need at the moment is for you to lose that job. Yeah, that job. Had some fun last night, did we? Um, look, I want to apologise for that, mate. Mum says Susan's pretty... Upset. Susan was upset. I was upset. My mother was upset. And I should imagine your old man was pretty upset yeah, as well. well. The invitation was only supposed to be at the top of the mast. And then, uh, well, I got carried away and invited the whole of Victoria. <laughs> God help you if you get married, mate. You know I'll get even, don't you? Hey, you'll never get even with me. I'm too smart for you. Oh, yeah? yeah. Is that right, is it? Hey. What the hell do you two lunatics think you're playing at? Sorry, Sam. I've warned you about all this horseplay. You arrive late for work, and you clown around with thousands of dollars worth of stuff all around you. Now you two pull your fingers out, or you both get fired. Understood? Okay, just take it steady. Come on, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Lower away gently. Very gently. Okay. it. You're fired. Both of you! Are you all right? But you can't fire me for something that wasn't my fault. Don't argue. Just get out. But Sam, it was an accident. I let go of the chain, not Bill. Listen, the stuff in that crate was worth thousands. Now, I've had you two clowns up to here, so just get out. Now! You know how much I needed this bloody job. Beryl? No, it's me. What are you doing, Hope? Mum, 
I'm out, is she? She's out shopping. Well, I've been fired. Fired? Again? It's Patricia Hamilton. Welcome home. How was Greece? <laughs> oh, wonderful. Now, listen, darling, you've arrived home just in time for Angela's birthday party. Mm, on Thursday. We'd love you to come. Oh, marvellous. Listen, I'll give you a call tomorrow and arrange all the details. I've got to go now. Angie's just come in. Yeah. Oh, and it's a surprise party. It is. Bye-bye, darling. So it's a surprise party now, is it? Oh, the guests enjoy it more that way. That was Maggie Fielding. Did you have to invite her to my party? Oh, she's important. I'm meeting your father at the gallery. Do you have a nice lunch? Mm, not bad. Truck almost hit us on the way home, though. Well, I hope you had your seatbelt on. We'll see you about seven. Well, I may be going out. Oh, well, have a nice time, darling. Bye. You've been trouble ever since you were a kid. You left school when you could have gone for a successful... I left school, if you remember, because this family needed money. Now, what happened? One job after the other, you either walked out or you were fired. Look, what do you want out of life, John? Well, I think you'd understand. Damn right I don't understand, but I'll tell you what to do. Look, I got you that job with Dad, someone. You go back there and apologize. Dad, it's and a lousy job. job. So I was driving a truck all over the country, but it's a job. You never hear me complain. Now I never hear you complain. All I ever hear you say is hello and goodbye. This is the longest talk we've had in years, you Look, know Don't that? get smart with me, son. If you don't like it here, move out. Okay, I'll ask me rotten job back. But tell me one thing. Why don't you like me? You get that job, I'll find somewhere else to live. What's wrong? I'm wrong. Everything I do is wrong. What the hell do you want? I need that job. That accident wasn't my fault. Get lost. I'm saving to get married. I've just taken out a mortgage and a new house. You should have thought of that before you started fooling around with that other clown. Give me a chance. No. I'll put two new men on. They start tomorrow. OK, you owe me a week's money. I'll want it. Some kind of a joke. You were asking me for money after what you cost me today. I've got to have it. I'll show you how mean I can be. <laughs> Police. Now, wait a minute. This is between you and me. Don't make things worse for yourself. Susie. Oh, hi. Um, I've just walked in. Mum told me you and John were fired early today. Yeah. Yeah, we were fired. Well, what happened? Ask John. He might be able to tell you. Oh, he went back to talk to Sam Selma. He hasn't come home. Bill, are you all right? Yeah. I, um, I came home after we got fired. Mum's not well, uh, I stayed with her. Would you like to come over? Uh, no. Um, well, she's got a migraine or something. Uh, look, can we skip going out tonight? Sure, if that's what you want. Well, it's just that um, I've got to find another job, and uh, it's probably best if I start looking through the papers, that sort of thing. Well, 
Uh, I might ring you later on, then. Yeah. John's got a lot to answer for, Susie. Oh, don't worry. I'll have it out with him when he gets home. Bye, darling. I love you, Susie. Set you with some of the things I do, but I always tell you the truth. Do you believe Did that? Did you get your job back or not? He's dead. Oh, who's dead? Sam Selma. I went back there, like you said, to ask him a job, but he was dead when I got there. So, listen, hold on. Someone killed him with an iron bar. Oh, did you phone the police? I, I just ran. They saw me. It's the police. Dad, I didn't do it, but I know they won't believe me. Wait in your room. Beryl. Do as I tell you, John. I think you better hear this. What did you do? Nothing. Oh, it doesn't look like it. What do the police want? Shut up, Kevin. John said he was dead when he got to the warehouse. He wasn't. He died on the way to the hospital. Well, did he say anything? He mentioned your son's name. Look, all we want is to talk to the boy. Check his fingerprints, that sort of thing. John! He wants to talk to you first, Dad. I'll get him. Leave us alone, will you, Kev? Why did you do it? Dad, I didn't. Oh, come on, Sam Selma gave him your name. But he couldn't, he was dead. He died on the way to hospital. Look, I'll get you a lawyer now, come on. I'm asking you to say you believe me. Oh, oh why should Because I? I've never lied to you. I need you to say you trust me. Trust? Look what you're doing to this family. I wonder if you know what you're doing to me. Oh. Would you ask Mum to come in? I'd like to say goodbye to her. Yeah, very well. He wants to say goodbye to his mother. John? Where's his room? I thought so. You're in serious trouble, Mr. Palmer. Going out. Oh, change my mind. Good. We can have a meal together for a change. I'm, I'm not hungry. If you'll excuse me, I'll go to my room. You've been crying, Gordon. No, She's been it's crying. Nothing. Must be something you never cry. Now, come on, what is it? I don't know. I mean, I mean, I really don't know. Toby Webster called to collect me, and all of a sudden I started crying. I just felt so damned unhappy. Unhappy? Has somebody said something, done something? No, Mother. I just want to be on my own for a little while. Night, Daddy. Good night, love. You sure you don't want a doctor? No, just being a bit silly, that's all. I'll come up in a little while. Okay. She never cries. I suppose you didn't phone or anything? No. Well, the other two gone to bed. 
Yes. Susan's on early shift tomorrow. What did the police say? Oh, they interrogated me for hours. Spending so much time there last night didn't help. But I think I uh, managed to convince them that I had nothing to do with him running away like that. Do you think John killed that man, David? I don't know. Uh, he kept on trying to tell me, but... I don't know what to believe. Right, and where do you live? 22 Manly Terrace, Manly. Good boy, good boy. Mm. <laughs> now, off we go to school. Johnny, do you know who this is? This is your father. Remember, I always told you he'd come back for you one day. He's got a, a new mummy for you. And he's going to take you to Melbourne with him. Get yourself ready and I'll be all yours. If I don't get these damn checks off today, I... I... Who are you? You haven't changed a bit. What are you doing in my apartment? You said to come in. You don't remember me, do you? No. Johnny? Johnny. Oh, John. Oh, Johnny. Oh, darling. Oh, Johnny. Oh, I just don't... Oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Oh, I... Oh, I never recognized you in a million years. Oh. Oh, what are you doing here? How did you find me? Oh, don't, don't, don't tell me. Your father died. No, no, he didn't. No. I found you because you made me remember the address. No. 22 Manly Terrace. Yeah. Oh, so different. Uh, modern. Yeah, I had it all redecorated. Uh, well, it's... It's 15 years since I've seen you, did you know? Yeah, I did write to you a couple of times. Uh, yes, I know. But your father wanted a complete break. Well... You still living in Melbourne? I was. 
I'm Fiona. Mm -hmm. I'm in trouble. Oh? And if you want me to leave here, I'll go. Whoa, whoa. What are you talking about? I'm on the run. The police are after me. You? Oh, no, I don't believe that. They think I killed someone in Melbourne. You, you killed someone? I didn't do it. I promise you, I didn't do it. Who was it? A man I worked for. You better start at the beginning, John. Tell me everything. Okay, I said, oh! Careful. Now, keep them shut until we tell you, all right? Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, we wouldn't lead you astray, you know. Step up. Haven't you got yet? No. no. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Are you ready? <laughs> right oh. Open. Happy birthday! Oh, oh, oh. It's, it's all yours. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Happy birthday, darling. Oh, Gordon, where's the camera? Let's get a photo. I'll what? get it. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Wayne, when did you get back? Uh, this morning. I flew in a day early so I wouldn't miss out on my little sister's birthday party. Hello, Mother. Hello, Wayne. Well, this is great. The whole family together. Let's get that camera. Happy birthday, Angela. It was until you spoiled it. I begged my father to believe me. I know I've always been in trouble, but silly things, you know. But I always told him the truth. I don't think I could kill anybody. Certainly not. Poor old Sam Selma. Oh, he was right to fire me, I suppose. <laughs> After all, I'd just smashed all that valuable stuff. Anyway, when Dad left the room to get the police, I just jumped out the window and ran. So you uh, really ran because your father said he didn't believe you? It meant a lot to me. We'd never been close. And I thought just this once to prove that I meant something to him. Besides, if your own father doesn't believe you, who will? I might. I have told you the truth, Aunt Fiona. If I ask you to give yourself up, would you do it? What the hell? Sure. If you think I should, I will. I guess if I yell loud enough that I'm innocent, someone will believe me. It's nice to have seen you again, Aunt Fiona. Oh, come on, come here. I didn't say you should give yourself up. I just wanted to know if you would. I'm a good judge of character, Johnny. You've admitted you are wild. So was I in my time. But I'm not going to see you arrested for something you didn't do. You're staying here with me until this whole mess is sorted out. Thank you, Aunt Fiona. Oh, Nick? Yeah? Ah, oh, relax. relax. Where can I go? Go? You're not going anywhere. You're going to stay here and hold my hand while he does it. Does what? Oh, yes, that's right. I haven't had time to tell you, have I? Take a look at this. <laughs> if I told you how I broke it, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> ah, Nick. Good morning, Fiona. You realise I wouldn't do this for anyone else? Of course you wouldn't, but you'll get your award in heaven, you'll see. <laughs> What's he going to do? Remove the plaster. Oh. There's no way they'll get me to hobble down to that hospital. <laughs> oh, Nick, I, I haven't introduced you to my little nephew, Scott. Scott Edwards from Brisbane. Scott. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? This is some heart you've got here. Yes. Yes, she certainly is. Mm -hmm.